Hi guys, John here. So um, this will be a remake of my video of um, where to get Mario hacks and how to play them. So the first thing you need to do is to download a emulator. So we can just go do a Google search. So let's go on to my Google Chrome. And we write google.com. Or do or whatever, because I'm in Canada. So we write uh, since, we're since we're playing uh, with uh, Mario Hacks or from Super Mario World. So the appropriate thing is to download is a Super Nintendo emulator. So we write SNES emulator in a Google search. So I'll provide all the um, websites on the video description. So we go to the emulator zone. So here's the console, and here are your emulators. So ZSNES is probably the best emulator you can get for, and SNES 9X. I don't really like to use this one because uh, they tend to it tends to freeze a lot. ZSNES is probably the best one you can get. So all you do is um, download it to your desktop. This one, you official release. You download to your desktop and you download the .exe files and uh, README and the .dll files. You don't need the README files. You could just delete them. So once you have that, next thing is to get a ROM, which is your game file. So what I do is I go to vim.net. And you go to Vault, and you go to Super Nintendo, and voila, Super Mario World is there. So um, you just download the game, and since problem is with hacks, uh, you have to get the hack and the uh, the hack and the patch, the Lunar IPS. But one thing is, you you only can patch one ROM. You can't over patch the same ROM. So what you have to do is you have to keep downloading the Super Mario World. But what you could do, uh, very helpful, so you just download it one more time and then make a little folder called SMW and you just make copies of the Super Mario World so you don't have to download them. So I have about 15 copies So the next thing to get is the Lunar IPS file. So this will actually patch your game. So we do a Google search once again. And we write Lunar IPS. Search. Okay, I think this, this is one I used to have. I believe it's... Oh no, it's right here. Okay. So all you do is just download this file. That's all you need. I don't know why I downloaded it again. Okay, so then what you do is you go to the hacks. So to get the hacks, just write WSMW Central. Uh, Central. And you go scroll down to featured hacks and hacks. So they come out with brand new ones each and every day. The most popular one is the second reality project. So what I would do is you just download anything that you like. So for example, um, hmm, Bit Five is supposed to come out. I don't know when when that will happen. Uh, you just take anything, God. You have all your Pandemonium Fortresses, so I'm going to be doing uh, a Let's Play series on the Pandemonium Fortress 1 and 2. Uh, by Karak. Let's see, there's a lot of hacks you can get. And you just scroll down which one you want. The VIP 4s right here, these are the VIP 4s. 
so okay let's say I'll download the IP3 so they give you nice sorry I got YouTube message so you go to your screens you like you like what you see yeah pretty cool so all you do is you download it hack name and you'll get to this file so once you get your lunar IPS it'll have a heart shape so what you do is you drag it on your desktop so I just did that close okay now next three that's your VIP4 so what you do is you take your sub uh, SMW file you just drag it onto your desktop yes then you go to change this name we will call it VIP3 and once you have your Lunar IPS program uh, you just click on the heart shape mix 3 then they'll say select file to patch so we'll just patch VIP3 and now it says successfully patched so that game is all set so I bring it to my hacks Uh, then go to my lovely ZSNES emulator. I'll just close that. Can't I move this? There we go. I go to load. And I look for VIP3. If I find it. VIP3, right here. So, if it works, then we fully patch the game and we are playing the hack so let's play VIP3 bingo it's all done And uh, that's about it. So that's all you need to know about uh, downloading hacks and how to play them. So um, starting tomorrow, I'm going to be doing the Pandemonium Fortress 1 Let's Play series. So stay tuned, guys.